Okay, welcome back to the show, everybody. Today is an important lesson, so listen up, boys and girls, because we are going to be talking about how to agree with somebody and how to disagree if you don't really care for what they said. Okay, so oftentimes when you're talking to somebody, they will say something that you really like, but they will oftentimes say something you don't really like. How are you supposed to respond? Now, you can say things like, yes, I agree, or no, I disagree. That sounds good. I don't like that. But obviously that sounds really boring and formal, so I'm gonna show you some better ways to respond to other people. Let's get started. Before I start, remember, I agree is super, super general. And there are many kinds of different meanings and different situations you can use it. But today, my version of I agree is going to sound similar to like Mei Tuo or I like what he said or that's a good point. Something like that kind of feeling. Okay, so keep that in mind. You can say that again. 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 Basically means you like what somebody said so much, you want them to say it twice. Twice. What? McDonald's has the best french fries around. You can say that again. This movie is seriously taking so long. I know, right? You can say that again. <clears throat> I was gonna say the same thing. I was gonna say the same thing. I was gonna say the same thing. I was going to say the same thing. That means what they said was so good that it was something that you were going to say too. I was going to say the same thing. Wow, actually, I take it back. Cooking dinner for 10 people is really hard. Uh, Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. I don't know why you wanted to do that. The Niners are really killing it this year. I know, right? I was about to say the same thing. You took the words right out of my mouth. You took the words right out of my mouth. You took the words right out of my mouth. You took the words right out of my mouth. It means it's as if they had stolen the words as you were going to say them. You took the words right out of my mouth. Wow, this test is way harder than I thought. You took the words right out of my mouth. I couldn't answer any of those questions either. Okay, that guy was seriously being way out of line. Oh, you, you, you took the words right out of my mouth. I thought he was super rude. What an asshole. Couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more means we are in total agreement. I like exactly what you said. Don't change a thing. Okay guys, our company really needs to improve sales this year or otherwise we're gonna go bankrupt. Couldn't agree more. What do you think we should do? You know, I think having more flowers at your wedding would look a lot better. I couldn't agree more. We want this to be as beautiful as possible. Uh, so, I disagree is also a very, very general term. You can use it in a lot of different ways, but here, the way I use it is going to mean something like, uh, or no way, I, it's unbelievable. That can't be true, that kind of feeling. Get out of town. Get out of town. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't really know why it's <laughs> called that. It just means you don't believe them. Or what they said was crazy or ridiculous. So my brother hmm. just got divorced <sighs> yesterday. Isn't that crazy? Get out of town. Wait, isn't his wife pregnant too? So last weekend, the Niners lost. Get out of here. They were winning by 20. How could they have lost? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Check it out, guys. Look what I got. Some free french fries. Wait, what? Are you serious? I just paid for mine. Did you watch the news today? The iPhone 12 just came out. 
I just bought an iPhone 11 though. Come on, are you serious? Oh, capitalism. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Um, so I have some bad news. I wrecked your car on accident today. Are you mad? Are you kidding me? I just bought that last week. So you know how we're supposed to go on Disney on Saturday? I kind of lost all those tickets. So. Are you kidding me? I just wanted to go to Star Wars Land. Now what are we going to do? You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. This one you need to be careful with because unless you're joking with your friends or you're really upset at somebody, this one is dangerous to say because it can be highly offensive. So watch out. I think the sushi we had earlier wasn't very good. I think I have a stomach ache from it. You don't know what you're talking about. Ooh. Um, excuse me, sir. Uh, I can't let you in without wearing pants. I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, buddy. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm the president. I can do whatever I want. All right, boys and girls. I think you know what's next. Quiz time. Uh, one last thing I want to mention, even though these phrases all seem kind of similar, they are used differently in different situations. Now, it's too hard for me to really explain, but again, like I always say, like a broken record, listen to native speakers, movies, TV shows, whatever, and you will learn how to say it properly after hearing it multiple times. All right, I'm pooped. But remember, if you need to watch it again, please rewind the video and watch it. And of course, check out one of my other videos to help you learn even more native style, everyday English that you can use. All right, I'm out. That's negative. That's the only time I can think of using it, right? Get out of here. Uh, I don't really know why it's said that way. Get out of here? Why would you say that?